guys. We hit 25 kids. I never thought this would happen in the first episode. <laughs> I'm Kelsey, I'm single, and we thought it would be funny and ironic if I played the 100 Baby Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and she tries to have 100 kids all with different parents. There's a lot of rules to this. If you're interested in those, the link will be below. A week ago, before filming this, I posted this on Twitter. I asked some fans to make some houses because we hit 25 total kids. Chelsea has hit over $100,000. I think she's like in a really great place. And I think we as a community are in a really great place to go house hunting. I'm really excited. I can't believe we've hit 25 kids. I'm super, super stoked and happy that you're all here along for the ride. So without further ado, let's go into Kelsey's extreme and very extreme home makeover now that we have money home edition. <laughs> title pending. <laughs> so we're back in the Impeachishme household. Also, if you were wondering, my actual last name is Impeachike. So that's how you pronounce my last name. Anyway, we're back with Chelsea Impeachishme. She looks so hopeful. Look how happy she looks. She just hit uh, 25 kids. So let's look at that awesome genealogy family tree. Boom, baby. Look at all of these 25 children. This is nuts. This is only 25. Can you imagine this like four times this length? Tristan. Theo, Ellie, Dorian, Olive, our sweet baby angel, Brand, we got Charlie, we got Addie, we got Cooper and Flynn, we got Hazel's looking a little different there, and then we got our newest two babies, Ari and John, named by my mother. We got Willow and Ginny, we've got Rose and River, our uh, vampire twins, Naya and Natalie, uh, our evil son, Eric, our Renee, who's often forgot, the forgotten twin of Miles, the cool twin. Uh, we got Alexis, who's low-key one of my faves, uh, but we don't like talk about her that much, but I freaking loved Alexis, she was so pretty. Uh, Jamie and then Brielle, the for forever forgotten child who stole our hearts and literally stole things. There's Chelsea's big happy family. Let's take a look at the home one last time. We had a really great time in this home. It was really fun to kind of keep upgrading it and also give it a nice makeover with one of our friends. We got a hot tub in the back, um, some death. But I think it's definitely time to move on. We're gonna put everything in our inventory that we wanna keep. So we're definitely gonna wanna keep all of these baby birth certificates. It's kind of like we're really moving because we gotta take everything out of the house. Now, I low-key love this kind of stuff in The Sims 4. It might not be your jam. You might be more for, here for the drama, and that's totally fine. We're gonna be back at it next episode. But this episode is all about home renovation. It's about makeovers. We're gonna keep this uh, computer because we spent a lot of money on it. We're gonna keep all, also our iPads from our kids. We might as well keep all of the little drawings that uh, our kids made. We should definitely keep these photos. I low-key, I'm gonna keep this dead cow plant. Uh, this grave and all of our gnomes. I don't know why. There's really no reason. We're gonna keep this. This is important to us as a family. Is that it? Oh my gosh. Are we like ready to bulldoze this house? Ah. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. I'm so scared to do this. Moving up in the world. It's a clean slate, baby. I asked people to use the hashtag Kelsey 100 baby house, I believe. Did people make stuff? I'm gonna be sad if no one made anything, but I did only ask on Twitter, so like, it's my own bad. Oh, it looks like people did! Yay! Oh my gosh, way more than I thought. Look at all you guys. Thank you guys so much for making a 100 baby house. Put a baby in me house, great name. Lilac, okay, ooh, nice and ye buttery yellow. We know Kelsey loves yellow for a home. It's two story, love. We've got on ley line, which is perfect. We got good schools and child's play. I do like the idea of good schools because then our teens will age up faster, which is really nice. It's got six beds and four bathrooms. Dang dough. I like it a lot. Thank you so much to Antia the Sims. I will keep that in mind. Here we go, here's a new one. Baby Baby Factory 2.0, love the name. Four bedrooms, two bath. I would kind of prefer an extra bathroom in there. Rebecca, oh, it's got yellow chairs. You know she loves a yellow chair moment. Ooh, this one's cute. Oh, 
It got eight bedrooms, dang dope. It says, I was so excited to make a home for the Peaches May fam. There are eight total bedrooms, one for each child to have their own, and one for Chelsea. That's sick. I love how fun it is. I'll keep that as like a little heart. I'm a favorite that one. Ooh, this one's so cute. My second entry for the Kelsey 100 baby house. Ooh, you made two. This home is a single floor living because toddlers. Oh, that's fair. The toddlers getting up and down the stairs would be very difficult. I hadn't thought of that. It's got a pool! Okay, well, we'll save that one, maybe put it on the lot later. Ooh, modern baby factory. I love modern homes. Three bedrooms, four, four bathrooms. Love four bathrooms for us. Modern home with plenty of rooms for the growing family. Need lots more room for skilled building? This house has got it. It needs a master suite to hide from the terrible toddlers. Look no further. Love it! Wow! This looks amazing. This one's Impeachish Bay Bamley Co. LLC. Love that name for us. Wow, it's ballin'. Second floor seems like it's just empty, which is pretty cool. This one's all pink. I like how there's like a lot that are just one floor. I was hoping for a two story, but I now understand why other people have not made a two story home. Ooh, this one's so pretty. Four beds, three baths. Very cute, love the use of yellow. Okay, so this is Shed Sloth from Potato King. Now, Potato King is a friend of mine. So Jared, who edits these videos, hi Jared, actually made on stream, on Twitch, made a house for Chelsea and the kiddos. It took us six hours, but they're very proud. So we're definitely gonna save it and check it out. Very cute, love yellow chairs. Hello boys, is what that one's called. Ninny Pop, ooh. Baby making factory deluxe. It's got all the same, uh, traits that my lot currently has, which is super nice. It's got a pool! Freaking pool, yo. It seems like a very similar style to the one I have currently, so that's amazing. Ragdoll refurb. Ooh, it's like a re, oh, this one's cool. Okay, thank you guys so much. I'm so shook. Wow, and this is just from asking people on Twitter. I love all the creative names for the houses. Ooh, woohoo floor. There's a whole, <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, so now I'm gonna place some of them and here's all the ones that we saved. So now let's like look at some of these homes. We're gonna start with 100 Baby House. Let's put it down. Three bed, three bath, love it. Let's do furnished. Um, yes, we're applying it in build mode. All right, now it's building. Oh, how cute. I love the picket fence. I love this mailbox, it's so cute. Little swing -o set and it's rainbow. Oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna just start screaming the whole time. Oh look, this is cool. Whoa, it's like got a shark. Are these, what are these? Little sprinklers for the kiddos to play in. There's a lot of play stuff out here for the kiddos. This looks terrifying. I'm pretty sure this can come to life. Very cute outdoor furniture moment. Ooh, we got a little home gym. Okay, wait, let's start with the first floor. So we walk into the new Impeachment May house. We got those chairs <laughs> with a nice little butter yellow room. We got a bathroom right here. Got a kid's toilet, always necessary. We got a shower bath, amazing. Then we got a little living room. It looks like this is Chelsea's room. Oh, we got some bathroom, which is nice. This is, looks like a teen room. And they got their own bathroom and gym. Okay, great. Okay, this is amazing. Let's check out the next one. Next Next one is Modern Baby Factory. Let's put this baby down. Furnished. Okay. Ooh, I, lo I love modern homes. Oh my gosh, the backyard. I love this little play place. How freaking cute is this? I could never. Oh my God, uh, it's a galaxy. Ooh, there's horseshoes for the adultos. We got, oh wow, this is like so well done. The backyard has never looked this pretty ever that I've ever made. These planters. Oh, there's so much furniture in here. It's quite it's quite a busy home, which is not bad at all. Oh my gosh, this kids room is jam packed with fun for kiddos. This teen room's pretty cool. Whoa, we got a bathroom over here. We got a second bathroom here. And th this is probably like a more guest one and this is the kid one. The living room space, yellow chairs. <laughs> this is a fun, uh, kitchen. I love that it's open floor plan in here. Chelsea's room is nice and big, which we love. Nice big jacuzzi for Chelsea. Oh, our girl can like relax. Very beautiful home. Thank you so much for building it.
right next home is this one, House in Pichichmi 2. Okay, oh, this is so cute. I love the wraparound porch in the front. We got a pool. Oh, your girl loves a pool. So we walk in, we've got a nice office for Chelsea. Oh my goodness. Little kid toddler room. I love that all the bed beds match in style, very cute. Ooh, it looks like they've got little shoesies on the wall. This looks like the teen room. I love this giant fish thing, very cool. Ooh, it's got a nice like creative table for the kids, which is very good. Ooh, actually, I think this might be the teen room and that might be the kid room. I like this bathroom. Ooh, there's like a den living room, very pretty. Open it space kitchen, which is great. Yellow chairs. <laughs> Y'all crack me up, you know me so well. Ooh, there's like a laundry room, which definitely gives Chelsea more work because there'd be laundry in the house. But I think that's really cool. And then the master bedroom, which is very cool. Very nice. Ooh, look at this little fun wall with the twinkly lights. All the stuff that a growing family needs. And then it doesn't have a second floor, which obviously makes sense because there will be toddlers. Uh, I never thought of that. Next, in Baby Factory 2.0. Oh my gosh, this is very cute. I love the exterior, very creative. Okay, let's dive in. <laughs> First floor, oh, it's got two floors, very nice. First floor, we got like a really big table, clean kitchen. Nice master bedroom, uh, master bathroom with, of course, baby toilet in it. I think this is the living room over here. Nice and blue colors. And then upstairs, we've got uh, bedrooms for all. We got like a baby room over here, bathroom, and then separate bedrooms for every kiddo, which is really cool. I like this idea a lot. All right, let's place this one. This one's Baby Making Factory Deluxe by Ninny Pop. Oh, it's so big. Look at this big mama, great curb appeal. It's got a pool and places for, you know, if our gardening sims want to garden, a basketball hoop for our sporty, sporty kids. It's got a boxing bag and yoga mat. So Chelsea could like be better at yoga and fitness. And also so could all of the kids, which is great. All right, let's dive in. Ah, yellow chairs already a win. And they're the exact ones that I like. Oh, I love it. And there's yellow chairs over here too. Oh my God, this is like a dream kitchen. There's like a little nook over here to hang places to put the shoes when you walk in. Oh, oh my gosh, look at this. This is swanky. I love the pops of yellow everywhere. I love the hardwood floors. Oh, this new shelf though. This is the office. It's got like a little reading nook, which is cute. Oh my gosh, very cute. Also buttery yellow. Let's go upstairs. I do want like two floors. I'm not gonna lie, so I'm really happy. Oh, bed, little baby room is so cute. Oh my gosh, is this Chelsea's master bedroom? It is so pink and girly and adorbs. She even has a makeup mirror. Here's a bathroom. Oh, it looks just like our bathroom from the old house. Wow, you're getting me with the feels right here because you're making it serious a little old house and I kind of love that. I love the race car beddos, very cute. And this one, they all kind of like match in a similar color scheme, which I love. Pink and blue baby toilet. Oh my God, the kids room is so cute. That's such a cute kids room. I freaking love it. And then it looks like we've got some kind of a thing up here. This is probably, I assume, where we would put all the baby, um, the baby uh, awards. I love this house. This is, this might be one of my faves so far. This is gonna be a tough one to beat. It's definitely got all the things I'm looking for. It might be hard with the toddlers. Can toddlers go upstairs? We're gonna, we, I guess we'll, we'd find out. If that is the case though, I think, you know, there's enough space down here that we can maybe build on, maybe swap out the office for the toddler room and make the toddler room the office. The Baby Making Factory Deluxe. Looks like a contender. Next, the 100 Baby Dream Home. This one's by Smurfy. Thanks, Murphy. I feel like the luckiest girl alive. It looks like a lot of you put it on. Oh my God, it looks like the big sister to this little sister. It's so cute. Oh my God, there's a live cow plant, which is quite funny to me. They've got a pool. Oh my gosh, there's little gnomos over here in the, in the sunflowers. Oh my God, there's gnomes everywhere. They put all the gnomes in. They got a little sando box with play places. Oh my God, there's there's like a trellis with, oh my God, you fancy. Oh my gosh, you simmers out there are so OP. And I'm like sitting here like, wow, I don't know how to build anything. So we walk in and then we got like a little place to put your shoes. You got like, oh, this is, I'm pretty sure from the parenthood pack and it's like, so you can give uh, curfews and stuff. This is like the living room. There's a bar and like a bunch of like, this is like protein powder. There's like already, 
kid art, yellow chairs, around a big circular table so they can all look at each other's eyes. A big open uh, kitchen, which we think is so cute. Oh my gosh, look, there's all these like, did they take photos with all the kids and put them on the wall? That's amazing. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Wow, and this is Chelsea's master bedroom, a kiddo room. We got another kiddo room. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, so it looks like the like toddles can stay down here. We got pink and blue rooms. And then it looks like up here, we got some more bathrooms. This looks like a teen room, maybe. We got another Tino room. I didn't even know that this was a thing. We could have a freaking pet. That might die. So there's like one, two, three uh, teen rooms, it looks like up here. So I like that the first floor has the toddler rooms and Chelsea's room in the second floor. And there's like, oh, there's a little activity playroom. Very cool. This thing is straight up deluxe. Amazing work. There's some stiff competition here. And feel free to post in the comments what your favorite house is. And you can feel free, these are all in the gallery, so you can feel free to add these, whatever your favorite one was. You can download the 100 Baby Fam and uh, put them into your own favorite house. Baby Factory 2.0. This one's more modern, which I love. I love a modern home. You wouldn't be able to tell from this one. It's got a pool and like a little outdoor area. It's got a lot of like natural light with the glass. Beautiful. Very pretty. Oh, I love this wood. Can I live in this house? It's got a little kitchen here. Got a bathroom in the middle. Over here, we got like an office space and like skill area, skill building area, and a little like TV space over here. Very cute. Upstairs, we've got the master bath and bedroom. We've got like a purple theme, which is quite pretty. I like this. We've got like a couple desks here. It's like in a shared space, so I guess they're not walking into Chelsea's bedroom all the time, which is probably for the best. This looks like the, um, the bedroom for the toddles. We've got like the teen room and yeah, very, very good job. This one's great too. Very pretty. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna choose? <laughs> Ragdoll Reaver, Refurb. And this one's the one that was like a warehouse and now it's a family home, which is quite cool. All right, curb, curb appeal. It looks a little confusing on the outside, but I bet the inside is pretty fun. Woo, lots of brick. This looks like a kid room. They got their own desk, balling out here. I like this like kitchen. Oh, and lots of space for doggos, which is cute. Is this the master bed room and master bath? I'm assuming it is. And we go upstairs and here's like a, like a skill building laundry room with a bathroom and here's like another bedroom. It's really pretty. This is like a really cool home. I don't think this makes sense for um, our kids because like it doesn't seem like a ton of people can live in this space, but it looks really pretty. So thank you so much for submitting it. We gotta check out this woohoo floor. That's quite amazing. Okay. So this one curb appeal is quite good. There's a little bit of outdoor stuff for the kiddos, which is very cute. Oh my God, wait, are we right next to a ship? Anyway, uh, <laughs> okay, so you walk in and on your left is like the computer area, which is cute. Got a lot of bookshelves, lots of empty space in here, which I kind of like. Yellow chairs. There's a kiddo room for the toddles which is on the first floor, very smart. Second floor, still a lot of empty space here. And we got like the teen room. Ooh, a couple teen rooms. It seems like a kid room, teen room. And uh, the in the big floor. Oh, very cool, very, very nice. Oh wait, there's the woohoo floor, I forgot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. I love all the rose petals that lead to the tiger bed. There's like, a, like theater lighting, lighting this bed. I think this is a little much for our Chelsea, but I love it. I love the creativity. This is spectacular. Very fun. <laughs> and then we're gonna look at the chaise sloth. Okay, all right. So we begin on the outside. Very cute. Love the little awnings and everything. So we walk in, yellow chairs. Oh, it's like a nice clean, big wooden table for all the kiddos. I love all the sloths on the walls. This is quite funny with the pop art. Lots of space, a pink, uh, kitchen, so fun. How fun is this pink kitchen? Oh my gosh, here's a bathroom with two baby potties, nice and big. 
uh, with a bathtub, very important. We got the, the uh, toddle room on the first floor with four beds, nice and big and fun. I like it's like a foresty vibe. That's very cute. Go up on the second floor. We got Chelsea's room, I'm looking a little bit more modern. Big bathroom, It's and there's two doors, so it goes into Chelsea's room and it goes into like the kiddo teen room, which is great. And then they got their own balcony with a bar that it all goes out to too. And then outside they got a pool, they got a ball pit, they got a little grill to go outside, and they got a little swimmy gnome, which is cute. They got a little pinko tree for some romance. I can totally see Chelsea seducing this actually looks like the end of Dream Daddy, where like you're sitting on a bench with uh, Craig in front of like a pink tree and then Craig dumps me. Memories. <laughs> this is a very, very nice house. Oh my goodness, what do you choose? Oh my goodness, there's so many good options. This is so hard. I wanna choose them all. Okay, we're gonna look at Midtown Meadows next. This one's really pretty. Oh my God, can I live there? Oh my goodness. I like all the white in the stone. There's like a big pool in the background. And I love this little seating place with like all the pretty trees. Oh, love a yellow moment. It's got like a living room with some Mitchy Match chairs over here. Very cute with a green. Oh, you must have watched the stream because we got a lot of green in here too. This is a nice little dining room. And then it's like got a little hallway with bookcases and then this like really bright kitchen with like a little seating area over here. Very nice. Back here we got the toddler room and maybe like a toddler playroom. Love all of the yellow, you guys. You guys are <laughs> really going ham with the yellow and I like it. We got a bathroom for all the kids. Uh, then we got the master bedroom with like a blue gold vibe, which is very pretty in a master bath. Oh my goodness, so nice. So nice and fun. I like, I like it. All right, so it's an outdoor, outdoor little yellow, like buttery yellow moment. Got a little fenced in backyard, keep the kiddos in, places to play, places to grow things. Oh my God, this is cute with a little rug. Okay, we walk in this pretty little glass door and we got like a nice uh, living room area. It's got like a puppet show theater, which is cool. In here, it looks like the master bedroom. It looks like Chelsea's room, a lot of blank blues and her master bath, very cute. We got the kitchen and dining room. Nice and big kids playroom off of there. Great, another bathroom. Toddler room with a little froggy. Uh, oh my God, an army of potties. Love that. Very, very cute. I love the hardwood. Lots of activities. Did a, did a very good job for the budget. Very proud. Mid-century baby factory. I love a mid-century modern moment, Lindsay, which like none of you knew, but uh, that's like my own style in my own home. Ooh, okay, okay. It's taking up a bit more space, which we love. I love this door and it looks like there's like a separate little house over here. What's that for? I guess we'll find out. Oh my goodness, a little lit path. Let's start in, ooh, it's so white and bright. We got the like kitchen, very light and bright with pops of blue and it's got like a baby gate over here for like a toddler play place and then it's got like the toddler bedroom over here which is cool. Then this looks like it could be like, I think the master bed, very cute. Got like her adjacent bathroom and uh, got a door out to the pool, which is awesome. We got a little like den over here for all the people to use and not just Chelsea, I guess, in her bedroom. I love that there's little laptops over here for the teens and kids to kind of like use the computers themselves. Looking very teeny, which I love. I love the backyard. Oop. I love the backyard, it's got like a little outdoor area, lots of places to play, and um, I've got some zen moments over here, and then this is the second home. I feel like this might be, is this for Chelsea, or is this just for like, I don't know, maybe some of the adult kids? There's like another home, which is cute. Maybe this is her like conquest house, where she like brings all the boys to the yard. Wow, very cool, so creative. I love it. Ba, 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 ba. Let's do Hunter Baby Headquarters. Looks like it's got like some nice bushes in the front. Very pretty. And then it's got like a uh, awesome pool in the back. It's on like the second floor, so it looks like like maybe the toddlers can't get in it. Got some like cute things over here, outdoor area to like have like a summer holiday time, which is so cute. You come inside, there's like a little place to set your shoes, stay a while, I love it. Some skill building stuff over here, which is great. We got some yellow chairs in the dining room, a little parental thing. And the kitchen looks very nice. 
And then like a little baby and toddles room, which is cute. This looks like Chelsea's room. Very nice, got like a little bottle of champagne by the bed. And upstairs is where like the, it's like kid land up here, which was fun. We got another bathroom, got kind of like a teen room and like a younger kid room and little desk-os where they can do their homework, which is very cute. And then they have a little porch out here with more activities. Oh, how nice. This is so nice. Y'all spoil me. This one's very good too. This one's purple. This one says long live the yellow chairs. <laughs> like the outdoor stuff, very cute. Walk in, yellow chairs, amazing. A little, uh, this looks very similar to her office space, which has got a little couch, which is nice. Bathroom, uh, master bedroom, little sitting area, and a, um, a uh, fireplace and a closet. Very nice, like the like hardwood is all white, which is nice. This looks like the teen room, bathroom, toddle room. And then is there an upstairs? There isn't. It's all on one floor, which is very convenient. They got like a little outdoor area here, some fun play place to do. Oh, this one's like shady, little shady areas, which is very sweet. Oh, how nice. Long live the yellow chairs forever. <laughs> okay. I don't this is really hard. You all did such a good job. There also was a lot of options and I didn't think there'd be as many options since I put it on Twitter. This one's, the, oh, that's so nice. Baby Factory 2.0 is real nice. Ooh, ooh, floor, oh, baby house. Oh my goodness, this is too, I'm stressed. I'm stressed out right now. You all did such a good job. So many beautiful homes. I think I'm gonna give it to Ninny Pop for the Baby Making Factory Deluxe. Need the perfect house for a picturesque journey into baby land? Your wish is my command. Make new memories, grow your family. As Marvin Gaye said, let's get it on. It's got the perfect lot traits. It's very cute. And I think it looks inside a lot like the old house, which I didn't realize I wanted, but as I was looking through, I was like, I love that it looks like the old house. But guys, I loved all of them so much that I think what I'm really gonna do is that I'm gonna take a couple more, place them around, and I'm gonna move in all the former kids. They're gonna move back home, and then they'll all be all of Chelsea's neighbors. So don't worry, some of the runners up will still be seen. I really like this, so I wanna move this upstairs and move um, the baby room and, well, the baby room can stay next to Chelsea's room. This baby room's dope. But I think we do need to move the toddler room downstairs for the toddlers. So let's make a couple adjustments. But honestly, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much to all of you that made houses. First off, I love the coffee maker, but Chelsea really didn't use it very well. We'll see how she goes. But we're gonna delete these. I don't think she needs that. Oh my gosh, are we moving? We're moving! Ah, I'm so nervous and excited. What else do we need? I'm gonna double check that we grabbed everything Thing that I'll want from this house. It doesn't look like she has a hot tub in that one. So maybe we'll grab the hot tub just in case. Oh wait, I missed some kid art on the wall. I missed some kid art. My gosh, this is so weird to say goodbye. Thank you so much, old home. The new home looks strikingly like you. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy and excited. New home, new Chelsea, 25 kids later. Can you even believe? Baby Making Factory Deluxe. Welcome back to the Baby Making Factory. Let's jump into the little like build. All right, cool. So we got everything here looking good. Now we just need to move um, all of this stuff into the upstairs. All right, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and to the toddler room. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We're maybe gonna take this color. I do like this pastel color. We'll put it in this room over here. There it is. Ah! Oh my goodness, this is adorable. Oh, little sky boys. Oh, our kid art. Oh, from our baby. Wow, this is looking like a proper kid's room here. Then we'll go upstairs and then where the kiddo room once was will be, I guess, our activity room. We'll put like this in there and we'll sell the other one. Nice and bright in there. Let's put this in the in this room so they can be like back to back. I think we did it. It looks really nice. It looks really nice. I'm sure I, I, I didn't do it quite justice, but okay. And then we got Chelsea's room and this this wall over here for the, for the baby birth certificates. I love that you gave me a little indication that that's where they should go. I don't know if this is gonna be enough space to, to put them all. Oh my gosh, we filled a whole wall. 
We're going to the second wall. This is amazing. Okay, and then I think we have everything kind of from here that we'll want. This is so darling. Look how darling this room is for our chels. Okay, but we don't have over here are the gnomes. So we need some gnomes. We need to give them gnome homes. Maybe right here is where all the gnomes live. Gnomes. We got our gnome family here. 100 gnome challenge. We got businessman, businessman's other friend that is also a businessman, naked man. He's my favorite. Look at all our gnome collection. And then uh, and then over here, we should put our, our dead uh, area. Wow. Are there any other things I can think of that we need? Oh, the hot tub. Maybe like off over here. I wanted it to like, there to be like, yeah, like these like twinkly lights. <gasps> yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. And then we do like, yeah, this is kind of working. I don't know if it's cute but I'm doing it, apparently. It's a little ugly as heck, but I, I'm i kind of okay with it. Oh, oh, there's like a shorter one. I think that one actually might look a little less cheesy. And then we'll do some like shrubs, some like privacy shrubs. Let's do another oak back here. Give it a little bit of shade. Okay. Okay, well, this is what we've got going on for us, right, Meow? I think it's quite cute. I'm pretty pleased with uh, how this turned out. Welcome home, friends. Oh my goodness. Everybody, come on home. It's time for the makeovers. Chelsea, get over here. Let's plan some outfits. She went in the back door, which makes me a little bit, oh, set his front door. I think this is set his front door. Chelsea just went in a weird place. Where did the babies go? They went in their baby room. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, they're already sad. Well, you gotta chill, babies, because mom's getting a makeover. So outfit one, classic Chelsea. I feel like we could mix it up a bit with the color. I know I always put her in these, but oh, that's so cute. Okay, we might do that, but I think we should do a new shoe. Maybe like a heel. Don't put Chelsea in heels, Kelsey. That's so rude. Ooh, these are cute like a little pair of white ones. I think that's nice. I think maybe she deserves a new hairstyle even. Could we even? This should be just classic Chelsea. All right, we got a classic Chelsea look. And then this red dress, obviously. We can change up the, up the shoes maybe. It's hard to beat the original, just like classic pumps. Maybe like some nude ones. Oh, I kind of like the nude better. And then maybe give her some accessories, you know? <laughs> no, wow, I did so much change. All right, but next next outfit is when we're gonna, oh, she's not getting a tattoo. I'm thinking let's give her some new hair. This one is quite cute, but I really like this one. I think, Ch oh, she got a little earring there. That's kind of weird. Oh, these are kind of cute. Ah, how cute, little Chelsea. She kind of looks like Barbie now, which I'm not mad at. Should we just like go for a Barbie moment here? Oh, I love this. This is cute. Oh, look at her little sassy self with her little pink jacket. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Oh my gosh, wow, we're deep in it, fam. Too many choices. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hot pink, hot pink moment with some like pink Hot pink pumps. These are kind of cute. It's like a little cash. I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe some accessories. Maybe like a little watch. Oh, I like this. Okay, so this is one of her new outfits. Oh, I like this. Oh, the olive green is so pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna change her accessories. Oh, like these are kind of nice. Do they come in like a green? I like the yellow. We'll change her hair up. Maybe like an updo. Ooh, really changing it up for Chelsea. We could like, oh my God, what if we dyed her hair? That'd be insane. Give her bangs. You just play out all of my fantasies here. No, that is not our Chelsea. Get out. Yes, and then get her like a different makeup. This is super pinky. Oh, that's nice. And then like give her like a nice little eyeliner change out. Yeah. Should she get a lip? Oh, <gasps> look at her. Oh my gosh, she looks so different. I love this. I love this for her. I'm so happy for you, Chelsea. And then other look can we get for a girl? I like her in green. I'm like happy with this green moment. I also like it in black, but I think that's a little, oh, the gold's kind of nice. Should we va voom voom in her day to day? She does have a, a saucy red dress. I think I could just see her more wearing jeans. Ooh, it's like a saucy top with like a slouchy bottom. That's kind of cool. Ooh, that's kind of cool. We could do a, like a fun shoe, kind of like a nude pump with it. Since the pants are kind of the show, the showstopper. I'm like not hating this. I don't know if this screams Chelsea. Is this our Chelsea? 
I don't know if Chelsea's like a va boom boom girl, you know? I like this color. I kind of like this. I'm liking the yellows. I think this is what I'm gonna land on for Chelsea. I kind of like the warm tones on her. And I think it's like a fun new side of her we haven't seen before. All right. I still love this dress, but we're gonna add a new one to her repertoire. I'm gonna go into the suits because I think a woman in a suit is so pretty and I want Chelsea to rock a suit. That's too much. No, not the right suit for our queen. Ooh, that one's pretty good. And then we'll give her like a like a red heel. They'd be strappy. Heels, heels, heels. I think her red heel's fun. Her athletic gear's still good. Sleepy time. Maybe give her like a, a saucy sleepy time. I like the like this moment for her. Or like we could just do like a like a little bit of a sexier sleepy time option. This one's nice. Little red one, no socks. And like give her give her a bit of a different hairstyle here too. There you go, that one's kind of nice. Party time, I love this party stuff. I don't know if we, I like this one still, we just did that. Her, uh, her swimsuit wear, maybe let's do something fun for Chelsea. Oh yeah, that's super fun. I love this, that's fun. Go Chels! Hot weather, I don't love this, uh, so we're gonna change that up too. Oh, that's super cute, I like that. And let's get some sneaks. That's so cute and looks a thousand percent like something I'd wear. And her cold weather, my mom just redid. Great, so we love this. Oh, did we not get to make over the kids? I guess we'll have to do those really quick next. Actually, Willow and uh, Ginny are, are doing, I think, okay with their outfits. I kind of love it. Oh my God, look at Chelsea in her new outfit. Oh my goodness. Good job, Chelsea. Look at the new home. <gasps> Could you just? Oh my God, the family's in the new house. Aria's hungry. Oh no, we got to take care of Aria. She's important. Well, it's back to the grind here. But thank you guys so much for a billion minutes watched. Thank you for 25 kids. And thank you for submitting homes to those who did. Apologize again for not having done it in a video. It was kind of like a last minute idea for me. This was so fun. I hope you enjoy the new home. And I can't wait to have more babies next episode. I'll see you guys all next week.